The Word of God says in Revelation chapter 22, verse 19, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Proponents of conditional security will often cite this verse as an alleged proof text. However, when context is taken into consideration, it becomes clear that this caution is only applicable to unbelievers. First and foremost, notice the invitation given to the unsaved in the immediate context of this passage. Verse 17 of the very same chapter says, And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Secondly, Christ previously promised the believer or overcomer that he would not blot out his name out of the book of life. Revelation chapter 3 verse 5 says, He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Who is the overcomer? First John chapter 5 verse 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God, notice this, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our what? Faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Logically, if the believer's name will not be blotted out, then the warning given in Revelation chapter 22 verse 19 can only be applied to the unbeliever. Therefore, this passage does not contradict the eternal security of every child of God, nor does it substantiate the claim that salvation can be lost. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven when you die, I encourage you, my friend, to watch the video in the description below. The Bible Way to Heaven, and be saved today. God bless.